as if. <laughs> It is so early. I am about to get this day going. Today, my mom and I are recording the first episode back of the Fearless Podcast. If you guys don't know, my mom and I do a podcast together. It is super fun and quirky, and we just have a great time. So we're doing this huge reboot. There is a link down below to subscribe to the YouTube if you want to watch it visually, or subscribe on like Apple Podcasts or Spotify, wherever you listen. But for our first episode back, because the few days before Halloween, we are going to be dressing up. <laughs> so I'm going to be transforming all of this into Cher Horowitz from Clueless. Ugh, oh, as if. I have my costume. I'm gonna go take a shower and straighten my hair. I'm gonna do my makeup. So I thought I'd take you along for my Cher transformation. I'm like, why not? It's the Halloween season. So right now I'm gonna go shower, do my skincare, pop in my contacts, um, and then we'll take it from there. Let's go, baby. That was like Austin Powers. As if. <laughs> <laughs> Me trying to act like Cher. All right, I am clean. <laughs> so, pro tip, by the way, I learned this back in Cosmo School, um, using a little t-shirt instead of a towel to wrap around your hair is a lot better for your hair, a lot less damaging. And I feel like it dries, if anything, quicker, but I usually just wear an old t-shirt around my hair, let it dry a little bit before I blow dry it. I try to get my hair like as air dried as possible to put the least amount of heat. So while my hair is starting to dry a little bit in this towel, I'm gonna go ahead and start my makeup. It's gonna be pretty simple. Cher didn't wear like a ton of makeup, so let's see what we can do. All right, let's do this. So I think for skin, I'm gonna, I've been loving this foundation. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. It is so good. I am wearing the color 430. I don't know if I'm gonna like skip over some of this because I don't want to like totally bore you. I'm basically doing a minimal look, but like enough where it makes me feel cute. <laughs> but still very Cher. So I'm just priming right now with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better primer. It's almost gone, I love this stuff. Let me know your favorite primer down below because I feel like I've never found a primer that really like makes my heart explode. Not in a long time anyway. So I'm oily, so I like to take a little bit of the D-Slick from Urban Decay and just spray my e.l.f. sponge. Love my e.l.f. sponge, y'all. This is the Total Face Sponge. It's so good. I have not touched a beauty blender or a Real Technique sponge since I got it. So this is just going to give me that flawless base because she has some good skin. And although my skin has come a long way, certainly doesn't look like Cher. <laughs> So looking at pictures of her face, also clearly she is a lot thinner than I am. So I think I am going to contour my face just to try to make it look more of that shape that she has. I know I'm probably just like overdoing it here, but I love makeup, so having fun with it. So I'm going to contour with my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in the shade 410, and then I'm going to use the Kylie Concealer in Stone just to kind of slim the face a little. Give us that Cher Horowitz bone structure, which is a very little nose as well. Okay, I'm just going in now with my baking powder because I have to bake or I just get that line under my eyes. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I've been really loving a lot of drugstore products lately. Drugstore is really, I mean they've been great. Drugstore's been an OG, but like they're really stepping up. Alright, we're going to let that bake for a bit. 
I promise I'm not making this like a glam share. I'm really just trying to contour my face to look more like hers. I'm not gonna wear like highlighter or anything because she did not wear highlighter. She wore like a little blush. But I'm just trying to like shape my face a bit to look like hers. So her brows were not super intense at all. I think I'm just gonna like add a little bit of a tail because my tail's a little wonky, but I'm not gonna like go for a full brow at all. I'm just taking a little bit of benefit, precisely my brow, and I'm just gonna like add a little bit to the tail. Makeup was so simple. It's funny how times have changed so much. Like makeup is like a thing and I love it, but like makeup has changed. I'm just gonna throw in a little Glossier Boy Brow just to keep that kind of natural look. Nothing too, nothing too wild. So now I'll just sweep away our baking. I'm just gonna throw a little more of that Wet n Wild translucent powder to set everything. So now just a little bit of blush. I'm just gonna go in with my Kylie Close to Perfect. It's like a very neutral classic blush. I'm not gonna put on a lot. I'm not even gonna bronze or contour. It's just like really simple. No highlighter. This was just how it was. This is just chill, man. I know a lot of you guys are gonna comment and be like, you're still wearing way more makeup than she did, but I'm just trying to get my face to look like hers, okay? God, she wears almost nothing. But you can see here in this picture, I'll put it on screen here while I'm editing, but she's definitely got some eye makeup on and like this really pretty, um, like slight gloss. She even looks a little bit contoured. Definitely like a neutral kind of whirl spice lip liner situation and some gloss. A little bit of like smudgy eyeliner maybe, just like very neutral. So let's go ahead and prime a little Urban Decay primer potion. Can someone let me know down below when highlighter became a thing? Cause like highlighter was definitely not a thing when my mom was like growing up. Just wonder when it all began, you know? So with the Kylie Bronze palette, first I'm just gonna take this vanilla tone and I'm just gonna pop that all over as a base. I'm gonna throw a little bit of a matte taupey shade in the crease because it did look like she was wearing some eye makeup and it was just neutral. Like she definitely wasn't rocking a smoky eye but she had on some eyeshadow, some brown tones. It didn't look like she had on a super intense eyeliner, um, like, but it still had some darkness. So I'm gonna take this like chocolate matte brown with this brush here and do like a powder eyeliner. So it's like a little more subtle, but you still get that effect. Oh yeah, that looks like super close to the picture. Now I'm just gonna throw on a couple mascaras, the It Cosmetics Blowout and then the Lancome Vibrating Mascara. Okay, so I have like the total perfect lip for this. This looks just like the picture. Spice Lip Liner from MAC. Like, perfect color. And then I'm gonna fill in my lips and just throw on some gloss. And I'm not gonna like overline my lips or anything. Ooh, yeah. Such a good color. I need chapstick, cause this lip liner is like dragging on sand. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And just throw some Revlon gloss on. All right, now let's get this hair flowing. Okay, so this is one of the best products I have ever bought. Literally, I bought it at Ulta, I think like a week or two ago now. I have barely worn my hair curly because I love how it looks so much. So I feel like I've seen everyone using these. So I finally just bought it. And honestly, it's the best blowout I've ever had. I could never give myself that kind of blowout look at home. Uh, like that fresh out of the salon. The first day I used it, I saw Gabby and she's like, did you get your hair done? And I'm like, 
no <laughs> so it's this they have like a bunch of different varieties from different brands it's essentially all the same product though really um it's like a blowout brush and it's perfect for that share look because you can like if you take your kind of front bang section and blow dry it up and backward when it drops it will give you that kind of like flow movement look that she had because she could literally like flip her hair any which way and it would just look perfect and that's exactly what this does this is i'm kind of explaining it to you so i don't have to yell <laughs> while it's happening but i've been talking about this product a lot lately i'll link it below you need it in your life and the hair looks good for days after you can just dry shampoo oh it's the love of my life besides urban <laughs> so my hair is eh. A little dry it's a little just like damp which is a good amount you don't want it to be like super wet or it will just take forever and it does have low high and cool but it's amazing so let's do this all done so share it's literally like the perfect tool for this we got the hair we got the makeup it seems like we need the outfit and here is my final share look guys I'm obsessed I got this costume on like a random website so it does fit nicely though for a plus size costume um, I'll find it for you and link it below I like actually just had a moment where I was like ah as if <laughs> like when Travis tries to come up on her <laughs> I'm like now I'm just in like full share mode where I'm just <laughs> like acting in character oh my god D but I think this came out pretty good let me know what you guys think down below in the comments also let me know what are you guys gonna be for Halloween it's in a couple days when you're watching this so let me know um, and don't forget check out the fearless podcast so many laughs with me and my mom everything is in the description box I love you and I'll see you in my next video Stay clueless. <laughs>